Hi. Now for this next part of the question, we've got to find the equation of the regression line of m on t, giving the answer in the form m equals a plus bt. Now you also notice that I've written this answer from part a up here, stm equals minus 90.5. So if this is a question you feel that you'd like to have a go at, just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay well welcome back if you had a go. Before we get started though I just want to do a little bit of background work okay it'll only take a few moments but normally we're given scatter diagrams with x and y as the variables and you've got your points scattered as such and you've got your line of best fit running through here. And normally the equation for that is of the form y equals a plus bx. And we work out b as being equal to sxy all divided by sxx. But clearly we haven't got x's and y's in this question. We've got t's and m's. Now that means that x correlates, if you like, with the t and y is the m. So instead of b equaling sxy over sxx, we can now just compare the two ideas and we can see that to work out b, b is going to equal stm, okay, stm divided by instead of SXX it's now STT and we've just got to substitute these values in. So STM we worked out in the previous part as minus 90.5 and we divide this now by STT which we're given here is 354 and if we do this sum we end up with minus 0.2556 and so on. Okay so we've got B. Now we need to get A and if we were getting A normally we should be aware of the fact that on the line of regression there's always a point that lies on it. It normally is X bar and Y bar okay the mean of your x data and the mean of your y data and if that's the case then we know that this must satisfy your equation here so in other words we would say that y bar would be equal to a plus b times x bar and we can rearrange this to get a a would be equal to y bar minus bx bar. And so we can do exactly the same here. We would know that instead of x bar, y bar, it is now t bar and m bar, the mean of t and the mean of m that lies on the line. So we need to work those values out. So we can get the mean of t, t bar, as being equal to the sum of t, sigma t, then divided by the number of observations. And we worked out earlier that sigma t was 140. So we've got 140 divided by the number of observations, which was 8. And 140 divided by 8 comes out at 17.5. Similarly, we've got to get the mean of m, m bar. That's going to be the sum of all the m values divided by n. And we've seen that sigma m is 32, so you've got 32 divided by 8 observations, which is equal to 4. So we're in a good position now to start to work out what a is. So remember I said that a was equal to y bar minus bx bar. Well, for us, we've therefore got a equals m bar minus b times t bar. So if we substitute our values in, we've got the mean of m, m bar is 4, minus b, 
which we've seen is minus 0.2556. So we've got minus 0.2556 and so on. And that is multiplied by the mean of t, 17.5. So I should be able to just get that in there. And if you work this out, you should find you get 8.4738 and so on. Now, that means that if I substitute these values for A and B into our equation here, we therefore have M equals A. Now I'm going to give these two three significant figures. So this is going to be 8.47 and then we've got minus 0.256 times T. Okay, and if I just put three significant figures just to the side there, 3SF, okay, as I've given these two values, A and B, to that degree of accuracy. So there we go, there's our equation of the regression line of M on T.